Now, the president today took an aerial tour of southwest Florida. He spoke to area leaders and to residents, those most impacted by Hurricane Ian. And then he and one of his most fierce political rivals stood side by side and vowed to work together to help Florida. Mr. President, welcome to Florida. We appreciate uh, working together. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis offered a public greeting to President Joe Biden. Just moments earlier, the governor had met the president as he arrived in Lee County after viewing the damage Hurricane Ian left behind all across southwest Florida. On most days, these two political rivals have little nice to say about each other. On this day, they put all of that aside. We were very fortunate to have good coordination uh, with the uh, White House and with FEMA from the very beginning of this. Governor DeSantis thanked the president for all the federal support, specifically approving a major disaster declaration before the storm arrived and offering to pay for all debris removal over the next 60 days. You have some of these communities here, their, their bill for debris removal will likely be more than their annual budgets. And so this is really, really significant help. President Biden complimented the governor for being prepared for mobilizing state resources days before Ian made landfall. He repeatedly said the two men have worked, quote, hand in glove to accomplish the goal of helping Floridians. This is about America coming together, and I really mean it. America coming together. And the president guaranteed they would stay together for as long as it takes. We're not leaving. We're not leaving until this gets done. I promise you that. And you heard in that story, Governor DeSantis thank President Biden for paying for 60 days of debris removal, while something the president says will cost billions of dollars. And he also says he expects the governor to ask for 30 more days of payment for debris removal, and he expects to approve that also. Reporting live, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.